All right, welcome back to All for Taste. Today we're going to try one from the great state of Georgia. This is from Athens, Georgia. This is the Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout. Mmm, beer. Yeah, and this chocolate milk stout, like I said, it comes from Terrapin, which is uh, Athens, Georgia, just northeast of Atlanta. Uh, this comes in at 6.1%. See that right there? 6.1%. And uh, I think it said 30, 30 IBUs. Yeah, oh, I got it written now. <laughs> Figured I'd forget because I'm terrible at. Uh, that excuse all the noise. Um, it's one of the. This is Valentine's Day. I'm really close to spring break. Spring break's starting pretty soon. And here in Panama City, uh, people are going like crazy. Panama City Beach. People are going like crazy going, doing construction, uh, you know, getting stuff ready for spring break. Um, so it's a little, little noisy, a little busy. So yeah, like I said, uh, six point. Ooh, this said six point one, six point one, but uh, on the website six point oh. But anyway, thirty IBUs and the hops uses Nugget and Willamette for hops, and the malts two row pale malt, uh, flaked oat, crystal eighty five, chocolate DH uh, carafe, yeah three, and roasted barley. So this ought, ought to be good. It says right on the side here. It says the Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout. Probably uses cocoa nibs and shells from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company to give this beer its chocolatey great taste. Uh, enjoy it till a cow comes home, it says. So hopefully it's a, you know, hopefully they didn't just make a stout and then uh, throw a bunch of chocolate in there. I hope they kind of, you know, kind of fermented it and whatever with it in there. That'd be nice. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, find all my stuff so I can pop it open. Here we go. Let's pop it open. All right. Popped it open, here's the cap. It's got a cool terrapin. I was gonna say a turtle, but a terrapin, right? So put that right there. And let's go ahead and pour this thing. I don't know, did I show them artwork by the way? Cool artwork. It's got a uh, it's got a terrapin in a cow outfit. And there you go. Pretty, pretty cool. Also a bottle uh, the drink by date is 318.15, so we're good to go. Like I said, this is February 14th, Valentine's Day. Ah, uh, look at that. That is some black stuff coming out of it. Well, I would say black, but that's a dark, dark brown. Yeah, when the light goes through it, it's very, very dark brown. Awesome stuff. Looking, anyway. Awesome looking. Very, very... It's so brown, it looks black, but you can tell it's brown. Let me get some sun going through it. Yeah, it's very, very dark brown. A nice brown head. Obviously not as dark as this, but really, really thick. Uh, not too big. It's probably about a, a finger or so. All right. Also, I let this warm up. It's probably about 50, eh, 50 to 55 degrees, and that's what they suggested on the bottle. Um, did it say it on the bottle? No, maybe it said it on the website. Yeah, it must say it on the website. So, uh, yep, let's go ahead and uh, smell it. Oh, yeah, you can, you can smell chocolate like crazy. Now it's it's more of a, a dark chocolate as opposed to a milk chocolate, you know. There is a slight difference there. But there is some creamy smell too, maybe like a lactose, like a, a milky type of smell also. But I do smell some uh, some hops in there. 30 IBUs ain't too shabby. I mean that should be I wouldn't say hoppy, but you should get a little slight bitterness from it. Alright, let's do this thing. Oh wow. Yeah, you get you get coffee up front first of all, coffee and chocolate. But the chocolate's not overdone. Uh, real creamy. You, you know, it, it tastes kind of like a well, it tastes like a chocolate milk with a little bit of coffee in it. It's got that slight coffee taste, uh, real creamy and smooth with the nice chocolate at the end of it. Slight bitterness. Man, very, very slight. This, this is very, very smooth. This is nice. I was trying to compare it. I had the stone uh, milk chocolate style a little while back. By the way, when I did that video, I did it down the road here, uh, a couple blocks at the lagoon, and I was going to do it today. I had my GoPro. Matter of fact, I'm doing it on my GoPro because of that. I had my GoPro ready, had everything ready, got down to the lagoon, sat down on the bench, got everything ready, and for whatever reason, my GoPro wasn't showing up on my camera. That's how I view to make sure I'm in, in frame or whatever. I look at my camera. I mean, my uh, my phone, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see right there on the phone, I've got the picture of the GoPro video, so I could tell, you know, but it wasn't going. Uh, I guess you can't see it, but uh, it's too dark in here. But uh, anyway, 
yeah, do it this way. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, you know, hey, you see me? <laughs> anyway, but uh, it wasn't showing up on my phone, so I was like, man, I don't want to waste it. Well, I say waste this. I still want to drink it, uh, but I wanted to do a video on it. I would hate to have done that and not get the video footage, but because uh, the, the, the uh, lagoon was beautiful. So anyway, so I walked back up to the house, and I'm in the front yard right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, good, good stuff. Like I said, it is a little breezy today, so I might get a little bit of background noise. Sorry about that. As a matter of fact, you can probably hear the palm trees going. As a matter of fact, let me switch around and see the palm trees. See them palm trees? Yeah, they're swaying in the breeze a little bit. Swaying in the breeze. Like I said, we got lots of construction going on down here in the in the beach right here. Um, everybody's getting all their stuff ready. You know, because they shut down for uh, the winter time. So, you know, things get messed up during storms and that kind of thing, and nobody's there to fix them. So they go about two or three weeks before spring break and start, you know, start repairing things so man we got hammers going like crazy i heard jackhammers over here i don't know what they're doing there some some beach club over here they're fixing up and busters they were doing something earlier and i just heard they got we got a condo right in front of us here about two blocks they were uh they were doing some hammering so anyway but this is a great milk stout see i wanted to compare it to the the stone milk stout this is very very good very 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 close to that uh, a good breakfast drink for sure i Oh, ratings. Ratings-wise, man, I'm going to get this pretty high. Now, I'm going to get this a 92. Very, very good. That's a, what, an A minus, almost an A. Well, let me boost that up. I'm going to say 95. This, to me, is an awesome beer. Really, really smooth. Got the chocolate. It is exactly what it says. You know, it is a chocolate milk stout. So, you know, you get the chocolate. You get the slight milky, creamy taste. Awesome stuff. Great. Great stuff from Terrapin, Athens, Georgia. Peace.